you need a side hustle. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in the past, I did a video about how to make money with your laptop. I'm gonna hook that video up here. You can definitely go check it out. The video is doing great. Um, I'm getting a ton of questions from people watching that video. They're asking like, hey, you talked about making money with your laptop. What if I'm not really good with computers? What if I don't like sitting on my computer? What if I don't wanna do anything online? What are some of the other ways that I can actually make money doing a side hustle? And so I'm like, okay, let's see what we can come up with. So uh, in today's video, we're just gonna talk about other ways that you can actually make money on this side, not necessarily from an online perspective. Um, I know people, again, are pushing towards uh, heading in the online, the digital space, but there's still services that you can do with your hands. You can do in person that would give you good money with, and not requiring a lot of overhead. First one that would come into you know, mind would be, hey, do Uber, do Lyft and, and stuff like that. But um, doing those, you still have to dedicate a certain amount of time um, and leave your house and drive around maybe for hours before you can actually really make some good money. Um, it's still uh, a side hustle, but it's a hectic side hustle. So I want to give you a side hustle that is really simple and you do it from the comfort of your house. The only time you leave your house is to maybe go out and talk to a client or do some installation and come back. And the side hustle that I'm going to give you guys today is called decal business. What's decal? You know, you drive outside, you see cars with bumper stickers that would say, hey, I'm a proud vegetarian, I'm a proud workout person, or I'm a proud parent of an honor student. You see all those bumper stickers. Um, you go to your local barber shop or you go to, you know, local businesses around your neighborhood, you would see, hey, these are uh, uh, operating hours, you know, from eight to five or whatever in like some white um, uh, uh, decal on the windows those are the businesses that you can actually you know get as clients if you start a decal business what does it take to start a decal business the main investment here is a vinyl cutting machine so the machine that would actually cut those designs that you would be able to put on the window on on the bumper sticker for for a car um, that's the machine you need and you can spend at least a hundred bucks to get a really good cricket machine in the description i'm going to put a link to some of the the machines that you can actually buy and if you even look online on craigslist you can find vinyl cutting machines for like 50 bucks to get you started and that's the, pretty much the overhead that you start with so if you can go out and talk to the businesses in your neighborhood and tell them like hey if you're looking for a decal i'm here i can get it done for you all they have to do is give you a design that they want you cut it out weed it put in a transfer paper and bring it in and install it and you pay and you charge them for installation. Um, if you just want your sign, you give them, they can install it themselves. And if they want you to install it, they charge for installation. So that's like double profit, but the margins are extremely good. Let's say you can buy a roll of vinyl for like 30 bucks and you know, it takes you maybe 20, 30 minutes to, you know, cut it and weed it and put it there and you can go you get a, a project that you can charge maybe two hundred dollars to like do everything and install it the best way to actually see if your price are competitive is to go around your neighborhood go to these businesses and ask them like hey how much did you pay for something like this and then see if you can make it competitive and the fact that you're doing it in the comfort of your house you're not paying any overhead you can give them a better deal and that is one of the businesses that i i, I mean i do it i have a vinyl cutter machine it's really really good you make good money doing it as long as you can market that service and like i said you have friends and families and and co-workers that have bumper stickers have have their own businesses and they want to put signs on their cars and you're driving down the road you probably see something like mary's um uh, flower shop you know with the phone number there or the website those are businesses that you can actually earn as a small business in your neighborhood and you don't have to be in the online space to be able to succeed in that kind of a business. So starting a decal business is one of the best lucrative business that you can start this year and continue to, to expand on it. And once you have your vinyl cutter, the next step that you can do to grow that business is for you to get a heat press. And then from there, you start doing stuff like t-shirt like what i'm wearing right now this is uh, a t-shirt that i made um it takes about 
maybe four dollars to get this whole t-shirt and I'll sell it for 20 bucks or 25 bucks depending on who you're selling to and so imagine that you spend four or five dollars and you sell this for 20 bucks and you can make at least 10 shirts a week or even make 10 20 30 shirts a week that is some ridiculous amount of profit that you cannot even imagine so I'm happy that people are asking this question because the online space is not meant for everybody so if that's not for you start your decal business and proceed and even expand it into a t-shirt business and that's what i've done it's a, i'm not just telling you guys this because uh, of something i read I, it's something i've actually done i've implemented it. i have an active business going on and that's what i wanted to share with you guys you can start it today if you do have any questions about um you know what you need and all this stuff again i'm going to put a link in the description below of some of the key things that you need to get started with your decal business if you're interested in definitely um reach out to me in, in, maybe in the comment section or you can send me an email and we can connect and I'll help you get started so question of the day what are some of the side hustles that you want to do you think it's so hard to get started with let me know in the comment section let the conversation continue below like share subscribe and as always stay motivated